everybody on the internet is doing something with their eyes so it's also time here on the flying channel to do something with it today i show you how you can create a smart rule set in chat gpt to create your pod listings the way you want and also of course using the best keywords <music> You don't need much to start your AI listing writer. All you need is an account on openai.com so you can use ChatGPT. If you're in the free version, you use the 3.5 model. I have here the GPT-4 model. I think it's just a little bit faster, but yeah, the result should be the same. So the first thing and most important one in the beginning is you have to give um, exact explanation what you wanna have the good thing about it is you can define it like you want so no matter if your main target is amazon is etsy or maybe our own store you can define it here so i give you the context to write a product listing for amazon i think you don't even need this and then the important part with a brand and then i say also how many characters is ChatGPT the bot able to use? Hey, so here 50 characters, same goes for title, bullet point one and two, and also the description. Amazon has usually 2000 characters for the description, 500 is for me enough because I tested it already with yeah, 2000 characters and it's like a, yeah, a small book that um, ChatGPT writes here and this is everything I need. So for the description, 500 characters max. And what I defined also here, this was just a test, is Halloween for the topic Halloween. And I want to use this keywords and then yeah, here my keywords and then it should write me a listing. And then of course it writes me already a listing. And yeah, this is, I mean, you can literally just copy that and you will have the same result. Um, when you have here the listing and when you see the the context is okay and also everything with brand title bullet points so yeah how it should look like then you can start to define it and then it is up to you how much you wanna define it so this is a listing the first one is and then for example i said here the next rules don't use a colon and it's a product, not a kit, because I um, yeah, realized it is always referring to some kind of a kit um, that we don't have because we sell print on demand things. And then of course here the next listing and then here yeah, the same thing. I, some, I realized for example that the title is not what I wanted because it's like, yeah, it's was own phrases that ChatGPT brought in and I just wanna have the keywords. I already have here and yeah, to make it a little bit shorter um, it looks a lot but it was also ju uh, just a lot of testing and also using um, yeah, different uh, topics and different keywords and the thing I want to transport here is that you just can define further and further so for example this year called this was the first generation could already be enough for you or good enough for you and if it is not then simply yeah, you can continue here um the most important thing is where is it yeah i have here like uh, all the rules defined and then i just say hey um i give you now just the keywords with our context so i don't have to write any uh, any text that it makes it correct and then yeah i just set here the keywords for example for Christmas and then it automatically writes me brand title bullet point bullet point two and so on and this is the good one because you are now in the in individual chat with chat GPT here this means it always knows when you paste your keywords like here for football it will yeah automatically create your brand title bullet points and so on without uh, yeah, telling please create me that and the good thing also about it is that you can simply add new rules if you want to and yeah this is how you can easily create your listings maker and yeah 
Of course, for the listing, we need the keywords, the most important ones, so your products also sell. And where I get this, I show you now. I'm here in Flying Research, of course, and we're searching for a topic where we can create a listing in GPT for. Of course, we don't make a Barbie design. And what I saw here is my axolotl. I hope I pronounce the word correctly. Um, that I can see that is coming back every year. Um, I also, yeah, you can also see it in the chart. It goes up, it goes down, and now it is back up. So here we have the axolotl design again. And I had a look before already. And here on the bestseller design, you see here the quote. Um, yeah, the the word game, axolotl, and here you always have a lotl. So um, yeah, it's already a pun, and maybe this is a reason why this design is selling very well. So for example, you can copy this here. Then you have here the keyword search tab also in Flying Research in the keyword package, and if you search this, then you see. We have here Google search volume and also Amazon search volume. So this word is uh, searched for and you have also other possibilities like a lotl, exo, lotl. So a lot of word games here and we also recently updated our keyword search. So you should now even get more results and also all the product numbers and so on should be even yeah more exact than they were already before. So I would use this keyword, you just can click on it in Flying Research and yeah, then you can just copy it to the clipboard, go back to um, here to ChatGPT and then just paste it here and of course two keywords are not enough so I would go back, <coughs> sorry, and what we also have here is the keyword hunter where not just yeah um, keywords are shown that you are searching for there are also all keywords around that so it analyzes the listing around that topic and that niche and then more results are shown so um, i think i opened the tab already here yes and then you can also search here for axolotl and then you can see here all the keywords that are around this and then then like amphibian and <coughs> also mexican salamander axolotl owner and so on. so yeah there are a lot of keywords you can use and that you can just click again on the keyword and then yeah you have here your keyword board board and then here everything you can just copy with one click and then go back here to ChatGPT and paste it and if you've done this then you just hit on enter and then hopefully a listing with brand um, title and also bullet points will be generated and when you have a look at it a lot of love for axolotls in the brand so already the yeah pun in it then here the title with all the the um, keywords and also bullet point one two and the description so <laughs> I would say this is probably a better listing than most are on Amazon already and you can use this you can save this for example also in flying upload in the application here when you switch to flying upload and then use it here so yeah you can um, do how you like and now you know a way how you can combine here flying research with the keywords and also chat gpt to generate your ai listings this is it for today's video i'm sorry i still had a little code and yeah a scratchy throat so i was coughing a bit um i hope it's not too bad in the video so what do you think about ai about the listing generation there um, does it help you and maybe should we integrate it into flying upload so your listings are or can be ai generated 
that are yeah, a question that would be really cool if we get some commentaries about it so we also know what we should do in the future and also what AI functionalities would help you a lot. Is it something like mid journey? Is it something like a listing generator? Is it something completely else? Let us know in the comments. If you'd like this video, then please leave a like, subscribe to this channel. You can join our Discord. Link is down in the description and yeah, everything else also there. Then I see you in the next video. Till then.